Hey what's up guys, my name is Rishabh and you are watching everyone's story. So today in this video I am going to discuss that what is a Pokemon Master. If you are watching Pokemon anime, then I know you had heard this word several times. And mostly from our boy Ash Ketchum. And before starting the video, I want to mention this. Pokemon.com, the official website of Pokemon, give a response to an email sent to its mailbag asking what is a Pokemon Master. They replied, I'm very sorry, but the Pokemon company does not answer questions of this nature. It is the intent of the Pokemon creators that such questions be left to the imaginations and interpretations of Pokemon fans. Adding more excitement and mystery to the Pokemon universe. So from their official statement, it's clear that they are not going to answer it. And we know that in this type of situation, there is a birth of theories. So firstly in this video, I'm going to mention all those theories with their proper supporting evidences. Then finally in the last of this video, we will make a conclusive theory that what is a Pokemon Master could be like. So there is a lot to discuss, but before we begin, as always, I suggest you guys to subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon to get more this type of related videos in future. Now without wasting any time let me jump straight to the video. Okay our first theory is the Legion Champion Theory. Since it has been theorized that when one becomes a Pokemon champion of a region, though the Pokemon League, then he attains the title of Pokemon Master. Now it's supporting evidences. So this theory is supported by Lance, calling the player a Pokemon Master upon his defeat in Red, Blue, Yellow, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Before revealing that the player must first face Blue to become champion. Since I remember that once in 2008, Masamitsu Hidaka, who is a director and storyboard artist for the Pokemon anime, give a statement in regards of a question that will Ash ever become a Pokemon Master. He laughed and say that if Ash becomes a Pokemon Master then it would be the last episode of the show. So his statement implies that without Ash Ketchum, the Pokemon anime is nothing. So if they want to end his journey but still want to continue Pokemon anime, then they need a replacement of Ash Ketchum that currently this Pokemon journey is trying to do. Although this is itself are another topic that we will discuss someday in another video. So back to today's topic. Now in the 34th episode of season 13, which title was, Memories are made of bliss. It implies in the Japanese version explicitly states that if a trainer win a Pokemon League, then he one step close to being a Pokemon Master. However, Ash won the Orange League and the Alola League, but still he does not consider himself a Pokemon Master. Although at least it implies an important thing, that if a Pokemon trainer win a Pokemon League, then he will one step closer to become a Pokemon Master. So we all know Ash has won the Alola League, that means he is finally one step close to become a Pokemon Master. Now our next theory is the Members Theory. Since it has been theorized that in the context of the anime, Pokemon Masters are the members of the Elite Four. And now it's supporting evidences. So, this theory is supported by the book Extreme Pokemon, named the guide for the ultimate fan. Where they are calling Prima a Pokemon Master. So it means that Elite Four member of any region could be a Pokemon Master. And also it was supported by Marina, when in one of the episode of Chronicle series. She consider Lance a Pokemon Master. So just keep in mind, that a Elite Four member could be a Pokemon Master. And it also implies, that in Pokemon world there is a possibility, that there is more than, one Pokemon Master exists. Also as I remember, in the first episode of Pokemon, Ash states that he want to be the number one Pokemon Master. So it means that a Pokemon Master is a title that could be earned by various people after completing some certain requirements. Whatever, now let me move to our next theory, named Region Gym Badge Theory. So it say that a Pokemon Master is one who has collected all of the Gym Badges in a region. Now it's supporting evidences. So in game, after defeating Giovanni at Viridian Gym when he gives the player the Earth Badge. He says, it is the evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon Trainer. Since this theory is not so relevant in the context of the anime. As Ash has collected all the gym badges in multiple regions and still does not consider himself a Pokemon Master. Although our next theory is the Mewtwo theory. So it has been theorized that one who is unbeatable in battle is considered a Pokemon Master. Now it's supporting evidences so. This was implied in Mewtwo Strikes Back where Mewtwo referred to himself as a Pokemon Master with him being the strongest being emphasized throughout the movie. Also in the official Pokemon handbook, it states that a trainer will deserve the title of Pokemon Master upon defeating or catching Mewtwo. 
So it means Mewtwo is the strongest being in Pokemon world and if any trainer will catch or defeat Mewtwo then he could deserve to become a Pokemon master. And please note here, it written deserve. It's not necessary that if a trainer will catch or defeat Mewtwo he will directly become a Pokemon master. Although at last let me tell some genuine theory given by Pokemon books. Like the official Pokemon collector's sticker book and the Charizard Go book. Implies that one has made a Pokemon master by catching all Pokemon or at least he have to catch every types of Pokemon and have to become a Pokemon League member. Now finally manga Electric Tale of Pikachu states a Pokemon master simply a elite trainer who's considered a professional and regularly takes part in Pokemon League. Now as I told you guys in the Mewtwo theory that a Pokemon master have to be unbeatable. So we have one more thing about that. As in I choose you movie, Verity questions Ash being a Pokemon master meant being the world's strongest Pokemon trainer. Then Ash replies that it is much more than that. And also recently in episode 6 of this Pokemon journey. Go asks Ash the similar question and Ash gives the similar answer. So now finally, we had seen all the theory and their respective evidences that what is a Pokemon master could be like. And now in regard of all this, I will try to explain you in my view what is a Pokemon master. So as we has learned recently, to become a Pokemon master, a trainer must have to fill some certain criteria. Like he have to catch all Pokemon, or at least he have to catch all types of Pokemon. As in anime, it's not important that you have to complete the Pokedex to become a Pokemon master. If you has catch every types of Pokemon, then that enough. That's a very good sign as we all know Ash not even have 100 Pokemon. But at least he have every types Pokemon aspect the psychic type. However he have Mr. Mime who is a fairy and psychic type but I still think he have to catch up your psychic type Pokemon. Although if I am missing any type Pokemon that Ash don't have then please let me know in the comment section below. Whatever, the next criteria is he have to regularly participate in Pokemon League and have to become a Pokemon League champion or he have to become a Pokemon League member. That our boy Ash Ketchum has completed by winning the Alola League. And now the last criteria is he have to become unbeatable. And to show it, he have to catch or defeat Mewtwo. Or besides that, he have to defeat all the Pokemon champions. That could be possible in this Pokemon journey. As we know Ash has participated in Pokemon World Championship, where we are expecting to see almost all the Pokemon champions. And if Ash win this World Championship, then maybe he could be a deserving candidate to call as a Pokemon Master. Although in my view, there are some criteria that if a Elite 4 member or a trainer will complete, then he could be a Pokemon Master. Now if you guys have your own thoughts that what is a Pokemon master then let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoy the video then don't forget to like share the video and subscribe the channel to get more this type of related videos in future. And as always you guys can follow me on my social media handles like Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.